time your girl Vanny Wise yes that same girl and Vanny are not here today so I'm taking over this channel no I'm just kidding <laughs> yeah you guys it's me also known as Vanny Wise of course you know I have Pennywise in the back because you know I have a thing for Pennywise <laughs> So yeah, you guys, uh, today we're going to be playing Mary in the Mirror. Yes, it is a story ride. So if you guys haven't seen my last video of the passenger, I think it was the last time I played this. Yes, look, I'm going to show you guys here the posters that they have. So I already played the passenger. This was really, this was a really good um, story, you guys. Had, if you guys haven't seen it, I'll leave the link down below. And the babysitter. Oh my god, the babysitter was like really creepy, y'all. So, I, I told you guys in my last video that I was going to be playing Mary in the Mirror whenever it was going to come out. And guess what? It's here! The frightening moment of this amazing story, Mary in the Mirror, also known as Bloody Mary. Ooh, talking about old friends, y'all. Look who's here, my bestie, the ticket booster girl. Hey, what's up, my girl? I'm loving your makeup as always. You look fabulous. Oh my god, yes, Vanny Wise, of course. Uh, you already know that saying, girl, I'm Vanny, but me, I'm Vanny Wise, so you haven't seen me. Ah, nice meeting you. My name is Vanny Wise, Pennywise Wise. <laughs> yeah, so. Hello, you already purchased your ticket. You may enter the side of your ticket booth to enjoy the show. Alrighty, let's go, y'all. I'll have my ticket ready and I am ready to hear this story. I hope it's scary. So, good evening. Right through the store, please. Thank you so much, sir. So, you guys, if you guys are new, please subscribe and push that bell to be notified when I post a video. Let's do this, y'all. Let's do this. Oh, you're here. Ah! god mary in the mirror don't do it yeah you guys do not play bloody mary that's a really scary game curse game i don't know <laughs> ah we're here okay candace invited her best friends over for a sleepover the girls were all excited after settling in candace asked her friends who wants to hear a scary story they all raised their hands excited wow okay uh, me over here raising my hand too oh you guys i'm so sorry um grab a snack grab anything you want to drink because this is going to be like a kind of like a long story i'm going to be reading to you guys so i hope you guys enjoy this and like i see this girl with a oh spongebob pjs hey my girl and the girl with her teddy bear pjs and here's the mirror that i think that mary's gonna appear in some moments there <laughs> minutes i don't know and here are those two girls and there's this random guy reading this okay guys this is a scary one so get ready the girls got all giggity and waited for candace to begin once upon a time there was a herbalist named mary whitford who lived in a deep forest wow okay so you guys so we know mary of course mary whitford that's her full name hmm, interesting oh my god okay mary was a beautiful woman who had become a powerful healer and would make potions with herbs to help heal people from their illness she was the best healer anyone had ever known wow okay so mary was like this doctor she was a doctor let's say she was a doctor those kind of doctors like the, that live in the wood no she's not a witch yet i'm like no she's not a witch yet oh my god you are so beautiful mary sorry i'm like so jumpy right now <laughs> but okay we're writing to the next story now Everyone would always comment about Mary's beauty and many men courted her secretly, but Mary was more interested in making medicine than getting married. Wow, my girl. Okay, that's really nice. That's really good. She's focusing more on her medicine, you guys. So, yeah. 
she didn't care about marriage she just cared about her clients and medicines of course and taking care of people that my girl you are doing great my boy he she doesn't want you so you you know step back from her she's gorgeous um you should like you know leave like leave right now yeah <laughs> okay i'll leave i'll leave <laughs> so let's go to the next thing oh. but then one day while mary was out in the forest collecting mushrooms she tripped over a chain and fell face first into a large bear trap that snapped close on her face <gasps> oh no mary <gasps> what oh my god mary oh my god my girl are you okay oh god i wish i could help you oh my god you're just on the floor oh, I, just, I wish i could just hold you and like you know like pick you up or something oh mary no little mushrooms are on the floor oh and nobody saved her oh that's sad y'all that's very sad mary managed to break free of the trap but her face had become horribly damaged she was refused to see anyone for over a year while she tried different medicines to heal the scars on her face oh i'm so sorry mary that is so sad you guys i never knew mary had to do all this thing and like she fell on the bear trap and she got the scars on her face Look at her, y'all. Oh, she's coming her fa her beautiful face. <sighs> Damn, that's sad. I'm so sorry, Mary. You're still beautiful to me, okay? I want you to know that. <laughs> okay, so here are the next clips. But nothing worked. Finally, she gave up and decided to wear a veil to cover her face and she went back to work healing people again. Damn. She, and she's still doing her job, you guys. That's really good. That's like really nice courage there. Wow, Mary. Look, look at the lady. She's just there laying down. She's like, you know, I'm with Mary. She's going to heal me. And she has that veil because of her face, obviously this story is getting more sad y'all <laughs> oh my god okay everyone asked her what had happened over the last year and why she was wearing a veil she told them that she had just needed time to study medicine more and that her eyes had become light sensitive so she wore the veil you guys are nosy y'all are really nosy i know you want to like take care of mary you know because she lives in the forest but you know you, eh, it's her problem you know it's her problem not yours so yeah i know you guys want to help her and all that but i, I she's okay but uh, no well not that okay i hope you guys don't, can understand me <laughs> but next let's see what's next Ooh, a horse i see a horse there okay then one day a man named lord harlan showed up at her house lord harlan was just one of the many men who fallen who had fallen in love with mary and he come to ask her to marry him wow okay oh a horse hey i'm gonna ride the horse lord harlan i'm gonna be running riding your horse hey i'll be like little nas old town road no, i'm just kidding <laughs> okay so yeah lord harlan he's handsome i guess and my poor mary she's here hmm well i don't know what mary's gonna decide so let's check it out you guys let go okay let's see he presented her with a huge ruby ring and promised her all of his wealth if she would just marry him. But Mary didn't care about the money. Hey, that's my girl there. Yes, we don't care about the money. We care about the love and how he's there for you. You know what I mean? I don't know, like, oh, okay, that ruby, it's, it's huge. 
Okay, um, I don't know. Is it fake though? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh my god, okay. Mary, you have like a decision right here. Like, that ruby, it's pretty big. Um, hmm. It's up to you, my girl. It's beautiful, but like you said, you're not interested in the money. You're, in you're interested in the love. Interested in the love. Oh. Okay. However, she did, she did indeed find Lord Harlan to very handsome, charming, intelligent, and sweet. So, she didn't told him that if he would accept her as she is, that she would marry him. Oh, sorry. So she told him that if he would accept her as she is, that she would marry him. Oh, okay. Now my girl here, Mary, is telling him if she's if he's still gonna accept her how she is, and by that means, it's the face. You know, you know she got. A Lord Harlan was so excited. He knelt down and said, "Mary, I accept you as you are." Will you marry me? Mary answered, Yes, Lord Harlan, I will marry you. Oh, okay. Wow, Mary. Okay. Okay. Congratulations then. Wow. Woo! There is going to be a wedding. Yay! Oh my God. Well, well that ring is going to be. Oh, <laughs> that guy over there scared me. Yeah, look at his face. Creepy. Okay, whatever. Okay, then we're so excited for their marriage. Let's go. Next chapter. Next sentence. Oh. Okay, okay. Mary knew that Lord Harlan was an honorable man and a man of his word. So she just knew that he would not be concerned with how she looked now after that accident. Yeah, it's true because he said that he doesn't care how he looks how she looks I mean he better not say anything bad to you Mary I'm gonna call Pennywise on him Pennywise is gonna eat you I'm just kidding <laughs> oh my god I am so excited let's go see the other paragraph my people okay Mary held out her hand and Lord Harlan slipped on the ring they embraced each other and Lord Harlan raised his hands up to her face and took off the bell to kiss her. Oh, oh. He is a man of word. She said so. So, let's see. Let's see what he does. You better not treat her bad. Okay, next chapter. Let's see, you guys. I'm so curious. Okay. Once the veil was off, she smiled at him, but his eyes grew wide and his face cringed in disgust. Oh, sorry guys. As he jumped backwards. What? What happened to you? You're a monster. He cried out loud. <gasps> How dare you? How dare you call that woman a monster? Yes, she might have had an accident, accident, but you don't call a monster to a woman, you dirty monster. <laughs> I'm like, you dirty monster to you because you're a monster, not her. You're the monster. Look at his face. He's all shocked. Poor Mary. Mary, my dear, you look beautiful. But this guy, he's the real monster, you know. He's the real monster. Oh, Mary. You don't deserve this. I was about to say something like a better word but I'm like shush my mouth I'm with Mary so you st Ugh. I am so mad at you so freaking mad at you okay in that single moment Mary's heart was shattered completely Lord Harlan ran from Mary's house screaming out loud Witch! Witch! Mary Witherford is a witch! <gasps> you stop! You are the rhyme of witch. No, wait, what? No. You know what, Lord Harlan? What, what rhymes with witch? That's how you, what you are. You are that. 
You are that. And you know what? My poor Mary, she doesn't disturb you because she deserves someone, somebody else. She's really beautiful. She just had an accident, but still. Look at my face. My face. I have a clown face. I'm going to give you a little kissy. There. I'm with you, my girl. Don't feel bad. That guy, he's a jerk. You don't deserve that jerk. Okay? And you. I'm going to step on your down head. And I'm, you know what? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to steal your horse. Come on, horsey. Let's go. Come on, horsey. Let's go. Ugh. Damn it. It's a prompt. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so weird. Oh, my God. Oh, no. We're in the village. Uh-oh. Okay. Word spread throughout the villages that Mary Whitford had become a witch and that she practiced black magic, which wasn't true at all. That he's a freaking liar because Mary, she is like a doctor. She healed people. She wasn't a witch at all. That little mother Tucker. Oh, look at all the villagers are mad because of all the lies that freaking jerk is saying to her. You guys do not listen to her. I know Mary Whitford. She's really nice. She's a really beautiful person. Just that she had an accident. But you guys still aren't supposed to be mad at her. It's not her fault. Oh my god. Don't listen to his lies. He's a freaking liar. Yes, you are. You are a freaking liar. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just make Kamehameha on you. Yeah, Kamehameha. <laughs> I am so weird. Here again. Again. Here again. Hey. Psh. You are so dead. Ugh. I'm telling Pennywise on you. You know what? Yeah, I'm telling Pennywise. He's gonna come and get you at night, so be prepared. Pennywise is gonna get you. What is this? What is he doing? Witchcraft. Oh, come on, you two. You're believing all of his story. Ugh, whatever. You guys are such a losers. Okay. Huh. Lord Harlan, let me use your head so I can stand and I can read better for my viewers. The local people from the surrounding villages gathered together to confront Mary. They went to Mary's tiny house and kicked down her door. <gasps> you guys are monsters! And then you guys say that she's the monster. Good thing, you guys, good thing I'm on top of Lord Harlan's head. So I could step on it and jump on it because he's such a jerk. Yes, I'm talking to you, Lord Harlan. Uh, uh. I can't even there you go more and more and more yeah 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 and yeah 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 I'm so bad I'm so bad <laughs> I am so bad why would you guys do this no I can't believe you guys did this you guys are such mean people I'm calling Pennywise on all of you all of you all of you Ugh, damn these people okay they drag her out of the house and tore off her bell. They scream in horror at the scars on Mary's face and begin taunting her and laughing at her. <gasps> oh my god! Oh! Don't you guys just want to go and punch each one of those people who are laughing at her? Why would you guys laugh at this poor woman? I can't believe you guys. Oh my god. If I was there, I'll kick all of your guys' asses. But you know what? No. Because you know, I'm going to get Pennywise on you. On you. On you. Oh, even you. I hate you. Even you. Yes. With a little smirky smile. And you too because you're laughing. Oh. Uh, and you. And you, and you, and you, and you, everyone. My poor Mary. No, don't worry, Mary. I'm here with you. I'm here. I'm here. I'm going to be next to you. I can't believe you guys are cowards. Cowards, cowards, and cowards. Cowards, and cowards. Cowards. I'm sorry, guys. I got a little bit mad. But you guys don't do it to a person, okay? They even made up a rhyme for her. Mary, Mary, once so lovely. Mary, Mary, now so ugly. Mary sat on the ground and wept as the villagers burned down her house and left. Oh, you monsters! See, you guys, this is why I'm mad. This is why I'm freaking mad right now. Oh my god. What the hell? What kind of people are you? You guys are jerks. Once again, I'm sorry with my language, guys, but you, you don't do this to her. You don't do this to my poor Mary. Let me give her a little hug, a little kiss. She doesn't deserve the hate. The hate from all of you. But you guys, you know what? 
this you're gonna get something something's gonna come up in, in the youtube yeah sorry guys i'm so mad so i'm doing the kamehameha okay guys that's oh my god this forest is red oh lord oh my god oh mary after that mary moved deeper into the forest and lived in a small mud and grass hut she was filled with anger at how horribly she was treated and how she was betrayed so she spent her time learning witchcraft and cast a spell on the word that would last forever oh <gasps> you guys oh, so oh my god so it's that thing that bloody mary bloody mary i think that's the that's the thing that she's talking about but I can't blame her. I would have I would have done the same thing if they bullied me like they did to her. Because come on, it's like freaking dumb how they're bullying her. Bullying her, how the way she looks. That is freaking messed up, y'all. So you guys do not bully a person how how the way they look. <clears throat> and here she is doing the magic black magic ritual. <laughs> oh my poor Mary. Mary, my girl, all I want to say is that I'm I'm by your side, girl. I'm by your side. So please don't harm me, okay? Oh, man. This is, oh, God, you guys. Now I'm kind of nervous to see what's going to happen next. But, you know, let's go. Let's keep reading, my people. Oh, we're in the village again. Oh, there she is. Oh, my God. She's putting something in the wall, something like that. Hmm. Oh. I can't see. Oh, there you go. Oh, wait, damn it. There. She wrote down on parchments what the what that spell would do and left one parchment parchment in each village for all to know. What? Oh. So she's leaving something so that villagers can read that uh, can read it and they'll be cursed. Oh, you're crazy but like I said they deserved it so I'm not feeling bad for the villagers it's their fault and like I said my girl I was by your side all the time so please don't harm me next the spell would curse anyone who repeated that ugly rhyme that the villagers made up about Mary by turning their faces into that real monster Oh my god. Ha! You deserved it. You deserve. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy for this. I'm so sorry, guys. But it's messed up what they did to her. I'm sorry. Like, I'm trying to dance. <laughs> I can't dance. Oh, whatever. But yeah. Ha! In your faces. In your faces. It's all your fault. See? Now he's turning into a zombie monster. Kind of creepy. Like I said, oh well, people, oh well, your fault. Why did you do that to her? And if you, oh, sorry, and if you repeat her name three times in front of a mirror in a dark room, she will appear inside of it, looking back at you, and something terrible happens. Yes, that's true. That's Bloody Mary, exactly. And here she is, y'all. Ooh, that lady did it. See, that's why my, my people, my people do not play this kind of. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, oh, Candace, my girl. Did you say boo? <laughs> oh, my God. Boo, Candace screamed. The girls all scream with fright. <laughs> Oh my god, Candace! Oh my god! <laughs> I, come on, people! I got... I, I also got jump scared, you know? A little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. Thanks, Candace. <laughs> and that was the story of Mary Winford. The girls jumped up and clapped, all of them agreeing with... Agreeing that the story was great, but also very, very scary. Yet, very, very sad. Of course. It was sad, y'all, because, come on, they bullied my poor Mary. It was really sad. And they're all like <laughs> clapping for Candace for the great story. <laughs> Woo, Candace, you did a great job of the story. And of course, I read it. <laughs> Let me stand here. Oh, 
Then Tara put her hand up and dared them to repeat Mary Whitford's name in front of Candace's mirror together. At first, they all said no way. No way, I'm sorry. But after a little convincing, they decided to do it. Are you kidding me? Didn't you girls learn a lesson of the story? Oh my god. Wow. Wow. And of course, here's that mirror where Miss Mary Whitford is going to appear. Thanks to that girl, Tara. My girl, you're going to see what's going to happen to oh, Guys, let's see what are they going to do now. The girls lit some candles, turned out the lights, and stood in front of the mirror and said the name Mary Whitford three times and waited. Oh my god well this is gonna be entertaining guys good thing i'm not part of this mary if you're like here you know with us i'm not part of this i never was and i'm not agreeing with miss tara here said you girls are gonna see what's gonna happen next <sighs> sucks to be you sucks to be you suddenly a frightening face appeared in the mirror and Candace screamed but nobody I'm sorry but nobody else did she looked at her friends and asked did you see that but they all said no <laughs> my girl there she is there is Mary Whitford watching you look at everybody frightening and look at her my girl, it's your fault too. You shouldn't open your eyes. They deserved it. They deserved it. It was then they admitted that they said the name with their eyes closed. Candace was the only one who kept her eyes open. And then suddenly... Uh-oh. So, suddenly what? Uh, okay. And suddenly... What happened, y'all? And Candace is here. Just nothing. Nothing seems to be wrong. <sighs> Two long and frightening hands reached out from the mirror and grabbed Candace, pulling her inside of it. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> Oh my god, look at the hands, y'all. Oh my god, Candace, move out of the way. Oh my, I think that's Mary Whitford's hands. That is so freaking creepy. Now, the girls could see Candace inside of the mirror, looking back at them. Only now, Candace look, looked monstrous. Oh my god. Oh my god, wait, what? Uh, so slowly looking at each other's faces frightening faces let's turn around oh my god 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 that is just scary I knew it I told y'all I told you to not play that game but did you listen to me oh my god what the hell what the hell was that? Oh my god. <laughs> that was creepy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now she's trapped inside of this mirror with me. Forever. Yelled Mary Whitford. She glared at the girls and let out a horrible scream before she disappeared with Candace. What? Oh my god. Yep. See you guys. That's the consequences of to not play Bloody Mary or Mary Whitford's game. I'm so scared now. <gasps> what the heck? Oh, there's Candace. No one ever saw. I'm sorry. I can't even. No one ever saw or heard of Candace. Oh, here she is. Oh, God. My girl, once again, that's your fault. It's your fault. You wanted to play that game, not me. You know, I don't want to say anything anymore. Oh, my God, here's the mirror again. Oh, damn. 
If you repeat her name three times in front of a mirror, no, don't do it. You guys, nope. I, yeah, do not ever play this game. Uh, me, you know, I'm scared of this. I'm scared of playing scary games, you know. And yeah, I would never do it. Not even for a million dollars. <laughs> not even for a million dollars, y'all. Oh my God. Ah! Oh, oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ah! Mary, I'm, I'm at your side, my girl. I never did anything to you. No. Mary, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ew, ew, ew. Ah! She's getting me. You guys, I love you all with all my heart. Oh, it's scary. What the hell? Well, you guys, I hope you guys like this story. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. And I'm here next to Mary now. And let me just dance, you know, because, you know, Banny White dances all the time. But yeah, you guys, let me know down below if you like this story. If you haven't seen Passenger and the Babysitter, I'll leave the links down below so you guys can go and check it out. Oh my god, I can't believe the plot twist of the story. This was amazing. I love this story so much. Oh my god. Mary Whitford, oh my god, my girl. I always was by your side, you know that, right? <laughs> but yeah, you guys, I love you guys with all my heart, and God bless you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!